नमस्कार आई एम विवेक बाय ट्रेनिंग आई एम अ मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल बट इन टू बी एस मैनेजमेंट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स आई नॉट टॉक अबाउट मच अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जस्ट इन नक्शल वॉट वी डू एंड हाउ वी डू इन फैक्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बैक वी स्टार्टेड आवर जर्नी विद वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट कलेक्टिंग वेस्ट ऑन फ्रॉम द रोड स्टेट and every day when we pass through the waste dumps we see people eating up there just visit the waste dumps and you will find around 12 o'clock 1 o'clock people sit over there and they just eat and they are the people who provide you health so that is the concern which we have and they eat the food which even we do not like to touch that is the waste food we call it food waste food so on another side i belong to rajasthan you know the rajasthan is destination for royal medals and i feel shame about that not because uh, that's just a wastage of wealth vulgar show of wealth but also because of the food which is wasted out there <coughs> you know when there is a gathering of 100 people we get food of for 300 people as surplus food in a gathering of 100 people you get surplus food for 300 people that is the amount of waste you need to have we all had some plus lunch uh, just now how many of us ask for that where this surplus food will go <coughs> and you know each dish which is served the minimum surplus is for 30 people so if there are 10 dishes you have surplus for 300 people that is the amount of surplus for each year so with this and globally we are just talking about uh, sustainability recently sdgs are signed by all head of the nations and the major point in that was food and hunger you know one side we are talking about uh, you can just go through it uh, and not uh, go much on the presentation because there is something to say see one side it is the food that is affecting economy another side have we ever thought about the carbon footprint associated with that have we ever thought about the water footprint associated with that have we ever thought about the many many other issues which are associated as a waste management organization we had this concern that the food which is here the surplus food or the waste food which is there it goes into the waste dumps and once it goes to, into the waste dump then it's of no use then this waste is not a resource then it's simply a waste you cannot use it people may talk about uh, some processing and disposal of waste so with this thought we have been talking we, we were thinking almost it took uh, 15 years to start we started uh, cdc the parent organization in 1994 we tour to do garbage collection in two cities and okay in 2010 we decided in november that let us start some surplus food collection you know they would be ekadashi is the auspicious occasion when the wedding season starts and in jaipur thousand of wedding thousands of wedding take place in one day it's everywhere uh, panel uh, we talk uh, on the panel here this not only that we also realize that besides wedding jaipur is home for many many religious activities we have all these annapurt we have the post for us we have uh, uh, many many such as the sahastra ghat and what not and even on the na- name of religion lot of food goes into waste so we decided let us uh, uh, start it and now in last 4 years now 5 years about to complete we have rescued over 1.1 million meals 1.1 million meals and that has gone to the people who really deserve it our concern is that so how we started how we use icd into it that is not part of this presentation but i'll just share with you we started with the mobile things 
that people can just ring us. We have a 24 by 7 <coughs> call center available at our head office in Jaipur. People can just call it, call us. Then initially, we used to record and then pass it on to the collection team. Then the collection team takes it to the storage place. And from the storage place, it goes to the lab. There is a small lab which we have where we taste the quality of this food uh, based on certain indicators and then redistribute it to the people who deserve it. Now, we have gone a little bit uh, further into that. Now we have a small app where you can just click a picture. It will take the location that this much of food is available. This picture will be available to us and to other people who are telling this app. So they can just uh, collect it. They can say that I, I volunteer to pick this uh, food from this place and redistribute it nearby or to bring it to our place. So that is uh, one application which we have. Mobile is effectively used. Now the mobile is uh, automatic kind of thing. You just call it, say that, uh, feed it, that I have food for 50 people and this kind of food. We accept only the vegetarian food because uh, non-vegetarian food has its own complications. So, and uh, we are not capable enough to handle those complications. So we just, uh, the, once the message is there, this it automatically goes to the collection team and likewise, and we also get the feedback that the food is being collected. And then based on the GIS, uh, we have uh, the locations of uh, <coughs> beneficiaries. So beneficiaries are located all across the Jaipur. Primarily, it goes to the waste workers. Second preference goes to the laborers. Third to the Monday workers, and likewise. We do not distribute this food to orphanages. We do not distribute this food to uh, baggers. We have uh, certain uh, issues with that. And the other thing is, nothing goes, uh, nothing is being given in packet form. We just sit with them, all of us. Uh, sometimes I sit with them, my team sits with them. One of us definitely sits with them because the dignity is also attached with it. So the food, if I cannot eat, cannot be distributed. So that is the idea which we have. So this is how we are a little bit expanding. And yes, just read So this is, you know, uh, this is what we do, and we use uh, internet and mobile apps just to make uh, the system efficient with the limited resources which we have. Thank you so much for coming.